Now, I'm sure I'm not alone when I can say that it's pretty clear that they want us to believe that central bank digital currency is actually designed uh, in our favor to help bring inclusion and uh, a form of monetary and economic aid and support to the people who lack it, uh, who have historically lacked it uh, currently and odds are more than likely in the future with our current monetary system. CBDC is good. Cryptocurrency is bad. CBDC is good. Uh, paper money, fiat currency, dollars are bad. And um, I don't know if you guys are really paying attention to what's being said and what they're sharing. But just the other day, the president of the Europeans, uh, the European Central Bank, she said herself that they would be making limitations. They would be setting limits on cash and any transaction that exceeded that limitation would then be deemed illegal, putting you in a gray market and possibly suffering the consequences of doing so and breaking the rules, breaking the law. Will we see a point in time where there will be a deadline set, a specific date, for instance, July 2023? The date has been set for which the FedNow system will be activated and rolled out to the masses. Uh, currently in the application status, supposedly for businesses uh, and to improve uh, transactions and commerce between consumers B2C and uh, businesses B2B. A direct access and link to the banks 24-7, 365 without delay and the ability to uh, conduct these transactions and batch and reconcile uh, in, you know, minutes rather than days. Um, uh, while at the same time we're getting reports stating that the banks aren't ready for this and um, there are still many, many gaps that need to be filled questions that need to be answered. Why is this being rushed out so quickly and so abruptly when really uh, anyone can look at it and see that it's not ready? What's the urgency to get the central bank digital currency platform underway? What have they been working on with ISO 20022 and these independent companies to develop this government controlled blockchain cbdc is good cash is bad cbdc is good um paper money fiat currency u.s dollars are bad cbdc is good cryptocurrency is bad cbdc is good xrp versus sec for eternity will there ever be a verdict um Meanwhile, the uh, SEC is being sued for delays and taking no action in other circumstances as it relates to the future of money, the future of privacy, anonymity, um, security, lack of government surveillance prying into your life, also the inability for government to control and mandate and set expiration dates on your money. Block out time frames, windows, and locations for which you could potentially even spend your money, which isn't actually your money because it could never be extracted from the system. It could never be withdrawn like you can from a bank today as you go in and request dollars. It would only exist as ones and zeros in a binary form on a government controlled blockchain style uh, infrastructure that could never be uh, stored cold, could never be off the exchange. It would always be vulnerable. Vulnerable to a variety of threats, one of which being, I don't know, maybe KillNet, maybe KillNet and uh, Russian hackers getting into the central bank and having their way with all of our funds. But then I kind of wonder like in the past, They've always 
told us something, but meant something else. They told us the Inflation Reduction Act was supposed to be good at a time of record high inflation, only to find out that once the bill was passed, that it wasn't actually going to reduce inflation. So when they tell us that central bank digital currency CBDC is good, are they actually telling us that it's bad? When they're telling us that it will uh, increase inclusion, does it actually mean that it will do the opposite? Will it make it even harder for people to have access to funds? What about those on fixed income and Social Security and SSI and SSDI? How about those who are not tech savvy, who don't want to engage with a central bank on a blockchain through an app or, I don't know, maybe a chip and plant it in your hand? Because that's a thing. Meanwhile, reports are coming out. Thank you for the share on Twitter. I really appreciate it. You guys are really helpful. Between Twitter, my email, Instagram, comments, you guys are a tremendous help in sharing this information. Uh, most recently sharing this information with Tucker Carlson, landing a much better job, uh, a much better gig, a much better contract in a director role for what I can only imagine is going to quite possibly be one of the greatest uh, news events of all time as Tucker Carlson will be unleashed. Maybe that's what they'll call it. Tucker Carlson unleashed. That'd be funny. But what happened? Why did he end up in this particular situation? I don't know. Maybe because he started telling people the truth or at least started alluding to that, trying to. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. A lot of these networks, they dance around the truth. Some of them lie. Some of them blatantly lie, but others, they intentionally withhold information. Remember that uninformation term I gave you? They want you underinformed. They don't want you misinformed. They want you underinformed. They want to give you a little piece and leave out the rest. And this goes into what Tucker Carlson was talking about. As far as, you know, Fox News Network's major pharmaceutical company advertiser backing and having to push a particular story from a particular angle to particular people in order to get a particular outcome. So when I ask you guys to comment down below, please do. If they tell us something is good for us only to look back in history and see that it's always been bad for us, should we really believe them when they tell us that CBDC, central bank digital currency, will be good for us? 